Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emile Dora. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi. So today we are on the bougie train. Like, oh my goodness, every product I have used to create this look today has just all of a sudden given me an attitude. Like I feel so expensive. My face feels so expensive, not me. My face, it feels so expensive, so luxurious. Everything that I have used. Those of you that have been using high-end luxury brands for makeup, and you have not invite you didn't you did not send out the invite so early god is watching you people so guys the f let's get started the first thing i want us to try today is this Vanessa Marik's um yummy skin blurring balm so I bought this in my last haul from Sephora. It comes with an applicator that we couldn't get out on that day when I was trying it. So here is the applicator. I am not in the... I don't think I fancy the applicator much, honestly, because what is it going to do? I'm not looking for extra makeup products that I want to be washing, so I'm not really really excited for it so before i apply that i just want to reset my face um because i did my skincare a long time ago so my natural oils are coming through so so now i'm going to go in with this but for the sakes of we have it let us try using the scoop to get it out i'm using the back of the scoop because the inside is a little bit dented so if i take it with that side that means i'll have to start digging in with my hand so i honestly don't know how much this needs but i actually wore it on its own two days ago um i was filming a content and i don't i did not want makeup on so i just went on it doesn't say anything like it's been mattifying so it just says blurring so it is supposed to blur your pores like blur your skin like a blurring um, product but let me read up quickly on it again to see their claims on this a texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm that balances oil throughout the day while maintaining hydration i'm using the universal shade it also comes in different shades it is very greasy for me it feels very greasy honestly but i'm just going to let this sit here while i do my brows and for my brows i don't have any new products so i'm just going to use this juvia's place one so guys this is like few minutes after applying the balm it still feels like my skin is greasy but also looking hydrated of course i can see the blurring effect on my cheek here on this side of my cheek like my pores look a little bit minimized not shouting in the face but yeah i'm just going to go on now to just let it sit let's see how it wears while i do other things so we are going to be trying um a new eyeshadow palette today this is the dior backstage eye palette that i got in my last haul the three shades that i actually have in mind includes all the this one in the middle called ruby the shade ruby the one in the middle burgundy matte burgundy the one here this is matte burgundy this one here and what other shade that I want to use smoky red this one here so guys I'm going to go in with this shade here it's called matte burgundy it's very deep burgundy shade so I'm going to use it to build up the red shade kind of giving it a smoky vibe i already did that here so and i'm going to blend it using um the same brush that i used to blend our first shade just to smooth out the edges to remove the harsh line so guys i think i must have not been filming i have not been filming the part i went in with the middle shade called satin ruby um that was the shade i went in with for my inner 
in our corner eye and i have just been raving on my own about how beautiful these palettes shades these shades are and the formulas and how it is so easy to use like everything is just working so seamlessly on its own and i was just about to blend you know to smoothing out harsh lines and i realized i have not been filming but look at the color pair of guys this color pair of is everything i've not used something in a very long while that did not stress me out it's so beginner i'd say it's a beginner friendly shade i was just about to go in with the second shade we used which is the matte burgundy and just to build um clean out any harsh lines between the shimmer shade and it you know and also to just deepen a little bit and i don't have any other base like i didn't use a base on this it is just the palette colors paying off on its own because i didn't want to use anything that would alter the true tone of the shades so yeah this is it for the eye look i'm just going to finish off the eye look and i'll be right so guys i just went on with my lashes and i'm trying this new lash that i got from kiss this <laughs> this is what it looks like it is very wispy very natural it's called the so wispy full bouncy volume curls honestly i love the definition that it's giving my eyes it is very very light it doesn't even feel like i have anything on so yeah you guys should check this out you guys should check this out i'm going to link it if it's on amazon otherwise check your cvs close to you the cvs closest to you so because i do not want to have anything on my what on my line like use a black liner i'm going to go back in with the shade um matte burgundy and i'm just going to use it to line with my lid it just as if i would use a water a black liner to do that because i don't want to take away from the eye look i don't want to make it too dramatic so this is just going to mask my um my lash band so now let's go to the complexion work i'm not going to be using a new foundation because i don't have a new foundation so let's go back to checking our <laughs> uh balm i feel like this thing is really blurring because i used i applied it using my palm and i have this my palm is not looking as bright as it should like it looks like there's a whole film on my palm i keep touching my palm because i don't like the texture of the whole thing on my palm however it has settled into my skin and i feel like it has blurred my skin so for complexion work i'm just going to be using two products today that i have used on this channel so i'll go on do that and i'll be right back but however this is the charlotte tilbury um color correcting product that i got the last time i'm going to color correct and also i'm going to be using this shiseido Synchrony skin radiant lifting um foundation it is oil free so quickly i want to share with you guys this new beauty blender that i will be trying out today i just got this from amazon and i told you guys i was shopping for blender so i love this i love how it feels this is after i have dampened it with water so it's damp and yeah let's just say i love this blender like the way you just squeeze onto it and you're able to use it however the only the one thing that is blowing me off right now is the finish of my skin i have used very little product you know to apply this foundation and obviously this is a this is the only different thing i have used today on my skin prep and this is fantastic on the finish of my skin like can you guys see this finish it is so flawless my foundation have never applied so flawlessly like it is doing today i am so happy i was on the fence of if i'm going to like this um this blurring balm because i have been having a lot of pigmentation lately um due to hormonal imbalance so i didn't think it was really going to like blur as much as it has done so and i love it look at the finish guys look at this place like oh my goodness it did not disappoint however i'm going to do a wear test so we will come back i applied the balm around okay let's just say with my foundation 11 o'clock it is currently 11 a.m so i'm going to 
film contents with this obviously i'm going to go out of the house to run some errands pick the kids up from school so we'll come back and see what it looks like i'm going to try to not touch it do anything to it so that you guys will see if it is really oil controlling as it claims it is so the new products i'm going to be trying today for concealer and setting powder would be from lys you guys saw this again in our in my last sephora haul and this is my first time trying it i did complain about you know the small size applicator it's so tiny and also how hard it is to dig in and out so hopefully they get to fix this and they understand it's a production problem so this is it i have this in the shade tg5 which is 10 golden 5 so so it does not look like a product that dries down quickly so we are going to give it time So this is the coverage. Um, I think it is full. Um, I did not have a product like maybe have a foundation under my eye. So I specifically left under this entire area that has the concealer just because I wanted to see how this product will apply. It blends well. Definitely it is creamy. My eye under eye looks very hydrated, but it does blend well. I love the finish. I am loving all the products that I have chosen for this video or I just got. So we are going to go in with the setting powder now and this is the translucent one. It has no shade. I'm not sh Okay, let me use a powder brush to do that. I've not used a powder brush to apply this thing in a long while. So this is it. I don't know how I've been sitting on this product. Like it's been around for a while, but yeah maybe it's just because i've been downsizing like you know because of how much i love this right now i'm going to use this same powder to set the rest of my face because one thing with setting powders is that if you use a tinted setting powder it is going to offset the true tone of your under eye so i have been using um non-tinted setting powders so i also got um i got this bronzer this contour stick before but however i got your bronzer and we are going to be trying two products again together today the contour stick is no limits harmony So guys, I used the bronzer to also contour my nose. I had to bring down the light so that you guys can actually see everything in true tone. So I want to go back to, um, I want to just clean my ridge, my nose ridge. So I'm still using the same translucent powder because it has no color and I love it. And I'm just using it with this tapered brush from Murphy to just clean my nose and give, um, give a proper definition of my contour i want to powder my whole face now like set my whole face and i'm going to use this same translucent powder before i use something colored i'm definitely going to be using lots of these products that i've used today like they don't feel like products that you know you buy you try you you don't like it and you just keep it but yeah so we are going to try out a new blush and this is still from lys and i have this in the shade highest grateful <laughs> in the shade grateful i made the same mistake when we were trying it and i'm about to make the same mistake again so quick um, update i 
went on to do my waterline the last thing we have to do now is our lip and for lip i have this product from jojo amaini the amaini duo set i'm going to be using the nude one because i mean if i go in with the red that will be too much I have never loved a lip lipstick like I am loving this one right now. Like, you guys did not tell us. Those of you that were enjoying luxury products anyhow, you guys did not invite us. The invite came too late. Like, I used to think that, oh my goodness, look at how glossy it is. I've not even used gloss on this. Like, you guys gave us late invite, so it's not fair it is really really not fair like uh uh so these are you guys have been enjoying honestly i was that person that would not put money to buying high-end makeup products but the day i tried this my christian duo lipstick when i bought it and i used it the difference was clear i got sold on luxury makeup products i'm not saying that all will be good you know i mean you'll be mishap but this is different this is definitely different it's so glossy it's so like glass like so pillowy oh my goodness like i am feeling bougie i'm feeling economically bougie did I say economically bushy? <laughs> so the last thing I'm using my home training and I don't want to embarrass myself right now. But the last thing that we're going to do to this look is to seal it. And today I'll be trying this um, airbrush flawless setting spray. Party all night, stay all day from Charlotte Tilbury and Tishali Shali. All of a sudden, I have used money on my face and I have an attitude and my mouth is not shutting up, so bear with us. Like I said, money makes the world go round. Like... Look at your girl, guys. Like... I'm going to be creating more makeup looks now. Like, you guys should just ginger me. I am going to come back to creating more looks. So, guys, this is the final look. I am so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I love... Why am I proud of myself right now? It's makeup I did. But I'm so happy. I'm so proud of the products that I use. Like, everything that I have used in this makeup look today have worked wonderfully well like wonderfully well i was not expecting such ease with creating this look i was having fun like i i just was having fun with the whole product with every product and you know the color pay of the eyes the one thing that i did not give so much accolade so that was because it's not a new product however juvia's place brow pencil if you have not tried it most especially if you are deep tone this is Juvia's place on my brows and it's not even brown. I mean, it's not even black pencil. It is their deep, it, has, it is their dark brown pencil and the color payoff is just so beautiful. Like my brows are standing out. Everything is so seamless and so put together. I love this look. I totally love it. I think the one thing that is so giving me bubbles in my stomach right now is this lip product. At first, I was loving the concealers the setting powder the um the blurring balm oh my goodness this blurring balm don't sleep on it this is what gave us this flawless finish i can't like a good primer a good base is everything and i feel like once you get your base right you your makeup is going to be good i mean with the right products however this base is here to stay i have look at my skin like not just in not just on camera even in person like i am loving the base and yeah i'm so glad i loved it the only tip i'm going to give is that when you use it 
just don't go in with your complexion product allow it to marinate on your skin allow your skin to absorb it to take it in to activate everything because after a while that i had the product on my palm i can't i couldn't feel my skin on my palm again it felt like it just blurred out my skin on my palm like i had to actually wipe out the product of my palm just so that i can feel my palm so not that it it stiffened my palm no i could just feel like that thin layer on my skin and you know it was blurring out the ridges on my palm so and it's the same thing on my cheek if you can see how rosy my cheek is the under eye is flawless concealer 10 over 10 everything on here is 10 over 10 I hey guys so this is my promised update on this makeup look I have not touched, blotted, cleaned, wiped whatever from my face since 11 a.m. It is currently 8, I'm sorry, 6.43 p.m. And yeah, it is time for me to go to bed or at least retire for the day. So I wanted to come and show you guys my face and it is looking I think it's looking a lot greasier than it is in person but i did not okay after makeup look i shot four videos yeah this is way better than a normal um my normal makeup looks i wouldn't except for events or maybe i have a wedding or something to attend then i would wear a makeup look for this long i would never wear makeup for mo more than six seven hours but it is almost seven hours since i had this makeup on my goal was to take it off for eight hours but i want to blot it right now so that we blot it together and you guys would see what it looks like after i blot away the oils this is all the oil that my face had produced in the last eight hours it is not much for something that i have not touched up on this was the face when i just finished making doing the makeup and you see how it looks like something i did four um, seven hours ago right so blotting and i brought it back everything is still staying you know true tone the cut the eyeshadow color is still fabulous the blush is still there uh, my lip, you can still see a little bit of the tint on my lip, but I have been eating and drinking. So, yeah, I didn't expect it to stay long. But of my final verdict is that this is a very good makeup base. This is a good makeup base. If you want your makeup to last for a very long time, maybe if you're a makeup artist and you want to incorporate this, this is something that you should like the healthy glow my face is not greasy i didn't feel like it was too tight there was never a time i felt like oh i want to take this off i want to take this off so all in all i give it 10 over 10 and the only thing i would advise is that when you have this on just like i did just let it sit let it marinate on your skin let it stay let it just marinate on your skin properly before you go in with any complexion product i think that really helped so yeah this is the update and let's go take it off it's like a family dream.